this doorway, there's going to be some enemies that pop up, I believe. Probably, yeah, probably the, uh, uh, the, the, uh, bounty hunters. Ah, I forget their name. Anyway, yes. So we're going to leave them a surprise. And I'm hoping that's not too close to me to just one-shot me too. But we'll see. We'll see. I I'm going to leave one on this side too, just in case. That, not there. Right here. Setting a trap. That's what we want to do. And that's what we've done. Alright, this... This is the... Yeah. The victory rifle shack thing. And... Whoever was living here had a couple pet roaches named Jitters and who else? Fluffy. Very nice. And the sniper rifle is in this locker. There we go. Guns and bullets, pre-war book. Okay. Bottle cap mine. Keller family transcript. That's that's one of them. I think I have a total of two now. I don't know. I don't know if no. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go go all the way to get the Merv. Would be cool. Would be a big old waste of mini nukes too. But <laughs> it's also a very very dangerous gun. Okay, let's get this rifle. And there it is. The victory rifle. So. I, I didn't get it because I would just have two sniper rifles. I'll tell you in a sec. Oh, yeah. I told you guys. I told you they'd be out here. How did you not take any damage? That's what I want to know. Well. It was relatively easy. Which is good. I'm done with you guys. Okay, we're still in. Oh. Got some enclave troops coming in. And I pissed off the super mutant, so he's gonna run over here and then get gunned down by the enclave to get dropped off. Okay, so we got a hellfire trooper and a sentry bot. Yeah, this is a fun battle to watch. <laughs> super Mutant Master with a Super Sledge. Yeah, he's he's not going to last long at all. Poor guy. Okay, so the Victory Rifle I got because on a critical hit, it will knock the enemy over. Um, it doesn't do near, it doesn't do as much damage as the Reservist Rifle, but that effect alone uh, gives it a lot of utility. So we're going to use it. Okay, we have plenty of fun things. And I have to remember my bindings. Okay. Oh yeah, and the reservist's rifle has three shots in the magazine, whereas the victory rifle has five. So, we're good there. But, let's have some fun times. Fun times. So we saw the enclave that came down over here. So, I think I'm going to take them out because I know there's a quantum over there too. So, we're going to do that. And that I don't think that super mutant showed up yet. Still, still wandering around. But, oops! Wow, that was almost bad. Okay, <laughs> almost failed before I started. So let's let's uh, aggravate the problem first. Oh no! Spontaneous combustion of car. What happened? So we're going to switch to the victory rifle and see if we can't get a critical. There we go. Yep, knocked him right over. <laughs> it's a fun gun. It really is. Is he alright? So we got Enclave rocket launcher guy over there. Thankfully there's no Hellfire troopers over there. Hmm. Yes. I'm really excited to see what, what we can do here. Is he investigating? He is. And I don't have the cover of night anymore. So we're going to have to deal with him. I, 
wish, I wish there was a way to switch weapons in bats. Like, mid, you know, midway through, so I could switch over to the, to the reservist rifle. <laughs> That's so great. Hey, soldier. Heads up. There he goes. There he goes. Good one. Very good one. Oh, I'm still in danger. Somebody else saw me. I throw a grenade over there. Do I have your attention? I do. There you are, Enclave officer. Impact imminent. Take that. Ooh, that was beautiful. That's a beautiful shot. I like that. Okay, who else wants some? There we go. Oh, now the rocket guy's after me. Oh dear. No missiles for you. No plasma for you. What? I am horribly inaccurate right now. Oh jeez. Just barely dodged that one. Are you serious? Are you serious right now? No more of that. No. Bad enclave. One more shot. Okay, three more shots. Alright, how are we gonna mess with this guy? Gotta get my good rifle back out. Oh, he's behind the bushes. It actually lowers accuracy, surprisingly enough. I'm glad... I, I'm surprised and impressed that it was in there. That, uh, you know, accuracy... heavily decreases when they're, when they're behind, behind bushes like that. There you go! I like, I like to get them when they're, when they're knocked over. It's a lot more fun when you're a melee character and you get, um, oh, what's it called? Oh, jeez. There's the oh. mutants. <laughs> oh, they were, they were attracted by all the noise. There we go. Oh, you like the grenades? I have plenty. I'm not being very vagrant-like for it right now, I know. But there's just so many of them. Too many, in fact. I'm gonna have to stop at the, uh, at the outcasts and ask them for some stim for some stim packs next time. Because I am using them up. There we go. Oh, I got that one. Okay. There we go. See how many how many hits we can get in on that master. Take another. Thank you. One more. One more. And then we'll bust out the guns. Just in case. Yeah, and he's not dead yet. Stop that. Enough of you. That's enough. No more. I probably lost all of the uh, all of the durability oh. on my armor just from these two encounters. That's ridiculous. Okay, quick looted there. Both the mutants and the enclave. And now that we're now that we're good. Now that we're good here, I'm gonna grab this quantum. Oh yes. Very nice. And I believe there's, yeah, there's some Enclave goodies here too. As well as some Wonder Glue. Yay. Oh, stim packs. <laughs> Great, I need some of those.
cool. Very cool. So what else we got over here? Nothing that I can see. What's over there? Hmm. I feel like we're we're just gonna wander for a bit. I have I have uh we got time. I think we got time, don't we? Yes. There's a little camp over here that I don't think I've discovered yet. And I think I would like to. As long as there's no questionable foes or individuals here. Hmm. Uh, nope, this, this is actually... No, no, no. This is the camp out that I went to before. And I don't think... I don't think they respawn here. So that's... Yeah. I don't think... Don't think the Wastelanders here respawn. I've been here before. To this place. So... No problem here. And... Okay. Now that we have the victory rifle in hand, I think it's about time to go to the mall. Uh, we have not been to the mall at all. So it's going to be pretty fun uh, wading through all the super mutants. That's going to be awesome. So we're going we're gonna to go to the mall. We're going to go to the mall. And we can start heading to the mall from GNR, which the mutants respawned in. <laughs> How fun. It's like they want me to deal damage. I am totally okay with this. I like having allies. Allies are nice. So let's let's knock them down. A peg or two. Nope. Didn't work out. There we go. Take that. Getting, getting some nice criticals. Nice! I think the critical chance on this rifle is actually quite a bit higher than the... than the reservist rifle. I'm not quite sure though. Or I've just been getting lucky. That could be it too. There he goes. He is dead now. Got some... got some experience through that. Okay. Now we go up. And we take the other way out of GNR. I think I think it's through Three Dogs' room. Pretty sure. Yeah, I think I think so. I think so. This might be down to Dupont Circle. There we go. Awesome. I think we're I think we're set then. So we're in Dupont Circle now. And that, that spot down there is really, really fun to blow up, I gotta say. So in fact, I'm going to do that, because more explosions. More explosions is good. Oh yes. There we go. There we go. That's right. So the ghouls are damaged before they even get a chance to come up here. That's what I like. That's the kind of stuff I like. We haven't fought too many ghouls in this playthrough, have we? It's mainly been uh, raiders and super mutants, right? I mean, I, I guess trogs could half count as ghouls slash mutants. It's like, oh crap, oh crap, what do I do? Oh. <laughs> too little too late my ghoul friend hmm made a right mess of this place didn't I so I think how do we get to the mall is that is that the way to the mall no yes the mall outpost I am glad to you know I there's there's a lot of metro tunnels but uh you don't get sick of them until you're through like, you know, five or six at a time. So I kind of wanted to spread it out on how much time was spent in the metro tunnels. And this spot in particular, too, just has a lot of things to blow up. And as you know, I like doing that. <laughs> so I'm wondering if there's 
Any survivors? Nope. I don't think so, anyway. That's not... Wait. No? Okay, that might be the way through, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep wandering here. That glowing one. Really didn't, didn't, uh, have much, much health left. <laughs> didn't get the experience, because the buses did most of the damage. Oh well. I took care of all of them, I think. What an awesome place to make a mess out of. I love doing this. Oh, this is so much fun. Somebody asked about giving myself special attributes in real life. Um, I feel like I have a fairly decent perception. And... I don't know. One of my friends called me charismatic, which was very surprising to me, because I don't, I don't, uh, I don't know. It's, it's hard to judge yourself based on anything. If you ever... That was kind of creepy. It just opened automatic. Oh no! Okay, that was creepy. I I am not used to that. Take that, Romer. I don't know. Strength is not a dominant attribute for me. I am I am a wiry fella. So I I don't know. What what would you guys give me as as uh, attributes? I I prefer that over you know judging myself. Or, or judging how how I perceive myself over how others perceive me, I I don't know, I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think my attributes would be? What what are your attributes in real life? That's what I'm wondering too. So, yeah, charisma and perception. I think that's that's what I think is uh, is going on with with my attributes. But once again, tell me. I would love to know. That sounds like super mutants. That sounds like the super mutant footsteps. So, um, you're not coming in here, are you? Better not be. If you are, I've got some mines for you. Yeah, just a couple. Just a few mines. See if I can get it. There we go. Oh, that's gonna make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happened. The other super mutant has no idea. No idea. Whatsoever. Okay, we'll drop a couple more. I gotta I gotta I gotta use them somehow. Hey. Come over here. <laughs> I really enjoy setting traps. I really do. So this this should be the exit to the mall. I believe. I think it is. Let's try. Nope, that is the wrong way. So let's go this way. Oh, yep, we got a sign right there. Right there. Brotherhood Outpost. So we're gonna go this way. See what other kind of ghoulies we can encounter. I'm really hoping there's not that many reavers through this through this thing. Hopefully not. Uh, it is one of the easier areas to go through because you have to uh, go this direction for three dog when you offer to help. Is this person sleeping? They are. I want to take advantage of the situation, or they'll just notice me. How does that work? I, I always wondered that, how they how they detect you almost immediately when you're nearby, and sneaking. <laughs> what kind of an idiot screws with a raider anyway? This idiot. Thank you. <laughs> Have a good day. <laughs>